Hi, and welcome to A Punk With Toys. My name is Lawrence, and today we're going to take a look at the Gridiron Studios Ultimate Enemy Trooper Rifleman Loadout. Great for G.I. Joe. So here it is, everything that's going to come with it. What we're going to do is we're going to take this Cobra Trooper, and we're going to turn him into the Ultimate Rifleist. Uh, using this gridiron stuff, I'm going to show you how you pop the arms off. Uh, if you haven't done it before, I'm going to show you everything that's on, on here. Put them back together, see how he looks, and see if it's worth the price tag that you're going to pay for a gridiron. And not to mention, to take one of these troopers, or hell, you could take any figure. Matter of fact, I'm going to show you another figure that I really have a good idea to use it on. But this feeling isn't mine. This is my buddy's. But now... I'm already looking at it going, oh, I have an idea of something that I want to do, but we'll see later on. But anyway, let's take a look at this because that's what you guys came for. Before we do, if you like this gridiron stuff, I got a bunch of gridiron stuff that I'm going to be doing. Take a second, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that bell notification so you're notified every time I drop G.I. Joe, gridiron, anything like that. Just fun, fun stuff for our toys. Now let's take a look at this. Get going okay so we got the loadout out and the first thing we're gonna have to do is I'm gonna show you really quickly here this is how the loadout sets which means the arms got to come off so if you're using a GI Joe figure that has a plate carrier or even a Marvel Legends so this is actually the figure I would love to actually put this on this is my figure this is my buddy's figure this is actually his stuff I'm doing a review thank you to Greg so if you don't know, all you have to do when it comes to popping this stuff off of figures is you're going to put it in hot water. Not boiling hot water. Uh, boiling will or can ruin the figure. All you need is hot tap water. So what we're going to do is we're going to throw them in here. We're going to hopefully get the arms off really easily. We'll be able to pull the plate carrier off. And then hopefully we'll be able to put everything else back on we might have to remove one of the legs i'm hoping we don't uh but we'll find out because i have a feeling with the belt here we might actually have to remove one of the legs but uh, i did it in the uh in my snow job one so while we're waiting for him to heat up let's quickly take a look at everything that you're gonna get you're going you're gonna get so we're replacing the helmet here and you can see right, it already has a place for the nods right there so here we go. These are probably the exact same nods as Airborne. So those are just going to plug right in there. And the detail on it is real nice. Over here, um, from what I can see, it does look like it's painted black. You got your nice blue here. The helmet looks completely different. And hey, you know, if you wanted to use this figure and you didn't have an extra head, you could probably just leave that on. So, there we go with this. Straps look nice, and everything with gridiron, this is 3D printed. It comes off looking really nice. And there is your gridiron studios initials right there. Here we have the belt. It's got two canteens on it. A bunch of little pouches here. You got your, uh, your knife sheath hooks. You got your grenade right there. No plate carrier, but this is going to go on. And this is where you're going to put your, put your knife. It comes with a pistol. So where does the pistol go? That's what we got to figure out. Um, <laughs> oh, it actually goes up top here. Like, so I was looking at it from the other, from the other way. So looking at this here, pistol is going to go there. You got some nice design here, the straps, the hooks. The reason why this is going to uh, go down is it's going to make it look like it's connected. So you're able to use the actual ab crunch, which is a huge issue with a lot of these figures. When you get to the back here, you can see the, the detail. And then you have what they're using now to replace, uh, when possible, the pegs. So this is actually just going to hook on here. This way, it doesn't matter where the peg is and the back of whatever figure, or if the figure doesn't even have a peg, this is going to go where it needs to be, rather than trying to line up a peg to go with all of this. Here's the backpack. 
Looks pretty nice there. You got your uh, grenades on the side here, or smoke grenades, whatever they are. Some nice design to it. A nice wash on it. There's your walkie-talkie. It obviously does not come out. All right. Just removing the stuff that is not uh, <laughs> their stuff. Wow. All right. So we have the pistol. Nice looking pistol, just all black. I don't see any paint on it. No removable magazines on this, but this is very tiny, but it's not like you can't do it. We've seen Mezco do stuff like that. We've got the knife, which is also going to be used as a bayonet if need be, and you can see right there. And then we have the extra magazine, which I love this. You can tell it's an extended magazine. Lots of rounds in it. Detail is really nice. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, excuse me there. And now let's take a look at this. <laughs> which we dropped the magazine. Which fell right out. So, all right. So this magazine here is a double magazine. I talked about this in the Airborne Review. I absolutely love the double magazines. So, this thing's just going to plug right in like that. Or we can take the extended one and throw it right on there. And this does go on his back if I, if I am correct. It does go somewhere on the back. I think maybe right in there. We'll find out shortly. All right. So this thing here, it's got the handle. It's got the flashlight on it. Scope. It has got a re a re a Foldable stock. I can't even talk right now. But this looks really nice. There's your little GS, your Gridiron Studios. And I know that KJ absolutely loves the foldable stock. This is what the A team was like. They actually had foldable or collapsible stocks. No one ever really noticed, but they were collapsible. They may have ended up removing them, if you remember the Gridiron or the, the A team movie. Uh, you do have a port for blast effects. But again, two different options for a magazine. And if I am correct, I believe all of the Gridiron use a very similar uh, magazine. So you can pretty much use whichever one you want. So there is all that. I'm going to throw the double in here. It does seem fairly loose or really loose, I guess you could say. So that is one issue. Uh, as you saw it fall right away, it was already plugged in. But a little bit of sticky tack should take care of that. But yeah, this is very loose. So uh, just be careful with that so you don't lose it. Now our figure is nice and warm. Now, there are a lot of people that like to use the hair dryer method or the heat gun. I like to use the hot water method to pop off stuff like this just because it evenly heats everything. So... All we're going to do, and these are kind of tricky because unfortunately they're a butterfly. And when you have the butterfly, they're not really meant to come out all that easy. And this here is like a rubber grommet or a soft plastic grommet. This is going to pop right out. You can see how this is. This is all you're going to do. Now, unfortunately, I should not have used lotion. <laughs> Oh, we popped his arm off. And that is not going to be enough to get it off. So this is why... Yeah. Don't put lotion on before you do this stuff. I'm trying to spare you guys all my dry hands. And unfortunately, this is what we get. So... Sometimes things will come off real easy. Other times, you're going to struggle. But it's just getting it out of there. That's where you struggle to get this thing out. So, uh, while you are waiting, while you're watching me struggle through this, uh, you're seeing this in live time, uh, take a second, hit that like button, definitely hit that subscribe button, and just make sure you're notified every time, you know, I, uh, I drop one of these videos. So, 
Man, let's see, I might... Might be able to get this thing off without. Again, thought about it before I put the, the lotion on my hands, but everything is kind of <laughs> very... Uh, very loose. So you can cut this off if you really don't care. Uh, I'm not about that. I would much rather. Yeah, I got to pop this thing off. So once they go back in, they go back in fairly easy. But getting this off is going to be a little tricky. I might have to stop the camera. See, the other one came off real nice and smooth. I know Tony's figure is watching right now going, oh, come on, this is the worst. All you have to do is this. But not everyone is experienced with popping these things off all the time. So, But that's all you have to do. Okay? And the goal is to get that piece out of what is the butterfly joint. If they didn't use butterfly joints, we probably wouldn't have this. Wouldn't be this difficult. I'm much happier uh, since I don't feel their butterfly joints work all that well. All right. So you've already seen me get the one off. I'm going to stop this, get this thing off. You might have to struggle. Sometimes it'll come off real easy. I wasn't expecting the arm to completely pop off the way that it did. But you can see there, it just went right back on. But he's still heated up pretty good. It's just getting this rubber off. It really wraps around it. So, give me one second. You know, I really like doing all this stuff in one take, but sometimes, just sometimes, this happens. All right. Give me a second. All right. So, that didn't take as long as I thought it was going to once I stopped the camera. Now, we should be able to wiggle this thing right off I have to heat them up again where do we have to go down all right so leg here just gonna pull it off just like that twist it thing slides right off I didn't want to take a whole figure apart like this <laughs> but we're going down this way so the waist is clearly smaller i popped these off before i did it with beachhead not when i was doing a review or anything like that so there we go it is much easier uh, with a valiverse figure but either way you have to um, get this on and this is how they do their stuff so all we're going to do is we're going to throw this on here. All right. Push it down all the way. Then we're going to take our belt. This is the front of the belt. I'm going to slide this thing straight up like so. And... All right, so belt is on, leg here. You know, so this is one of the things you're really customizing your figure. Uh, because you really have to pop him apart. So there you go there. Now we're going to slide this straight on down. And, okay, so that makes sense. That's what these holes are for. This is meant to go directly into that. Let's get the arms on first. And let's make sure we get the right, the right arms on. So there we go. If I remember correctly, these things should go in way easier than they came out. Or I could be just completely lying. And I'm going to struggle with this. <laughs> One arm in. Second arm. All right. So that is all you need to do. <laughs> That's all you need to do. Heat it up. 
get it back to where you want it to be. <laughs> so, yeah, a little bit of uh, struggle there. But, again, I'm trying to show you guys what this is like right out of the uh, – or how you're going to have to set it up in case you've never done, it, done this before. All right. So, that looks awesome. All right. And then we're going to take – a helmet, pop that bad boy on, and now you have a new looking Cobra figure, which we all do like. I'm not saying you like this, but I'm saying we all like having a new style of figure. But let's take these off and you'll see how he looks with the helmet on, so that's not that bad. Backpack here. Just gonna Put that on like that, and it's going to slide on. Don't have to worry about it falling off. So that's good. You got your pistol up there. And we have the knife. The knife sheath is right back here. So, but before we do, let's see how easily it goes on. So if it's anything like the Airborne, it should go on. Pretty smoothly. And there you go. Now, you might want to warm it up so you don't worry about the tip breaking. That's what she said. But there you go. So now you have your bayonet. Personally, I don't really like the bayonet like that. So we're just going to leave this down here. And now... Because the magazine is loose, and I'm using that word loosely, um, <laughs> we're going to have to get this thing set up first. Now, I do worry about this collapsible stock. It is going to be something that I could see it breaking, so be careful. But again, gridiron, these things are not meant for kids to be playing with. Uh, I think it's a cool idea. It looks awesome. It's going to be great for pictures. But let's be honest, it is a uh, it can be a nightmare for some people. So, lost the backpack. Slide that back. And then I believe that we can put the magazine right in there so it's going to sit there. Everything seems really dark today. So I do apologize for that. This magazine here. Looks like there's a small gap. I'm not sure how well that is going to sit here. Not well at all. Unfortunately, this is the one that wants to just fall right out. So we'll throw this here. We're going to... That easy we can arm him. And I love the handle here. This handle is awesome. Uh, just for an action figure. Not a big fan of it if I was actually firing a weapon. But. And then this. It is easy to push off, obviously, with... We don't need that anymore. So there you go. Take the nods. We'll throw the nods on here. And now you have your ultimate rifle. I'm still a little leery, leery of messing around too much while on camera. Again, it is not mine. We can collapse this, get this out of the way, and then he's actually firing in a better position. But anytime you have something like this here, and you have a stock that's going up, uh, you have to be careful with it. And because it's a collapsible one, it could easily pop off. But there's your ultimate rifleman. I think this thing looks pretty awesome. The nods are awesome. Awesome to have a new a new helmet. And again, just to have a different figure. If you have an extra one of these figures, I know a lot of people do. 
What is nice about this here is now you actually can use your ab crunch, which you could not do with this. These plate carriers, even though they might look nice, they were able to cover up and show, you know, so you could use it on multiple figures, a lot of repainting, uh, a lot of reusing the same buck. But unfortunately, man, this backpack does fall off fairly easy, uh, which is kind of disappointing. Kind of annoying, to be honest. Not disappointing. It's going to sit fine, but every time you kind of push up on it, it just pops off. So, quickly, what I will show you. I don't know why I'm going to do this. It's just in my way. When I did the vamp yesterday, right? This is what I was showing you. And that's what this is for now. That now you can take their backpack and just set it right there. So if you have another Joe backpack, a Cobra one, whichever one you want, that's how that thing is uh, meant to you. So they are future forward thinking, that is for sure. If you haven't watched that, that review, I will drop a link at the end of this that will lead you back to that. So anyway, uh, I was say biggest disappointment is the magazine does not want to stay in. And that I did not heat it up, but that thing does not want to stay in. But all in all, this thing looks pretty badass. Uh, yeah, I like it. Let's turn this here. You don't see all my wires. All right, so there you have it. That is my Ultimate Rifleman loadout from Gridiron. Uh, I did put them on, you know, one of the Cobra Troopers. Again, you probably could have used one of those uh, shield agents, take the tampo off the shoulder so it's not shield. Hell, maybe you want it to be shield. I don't know. The, the color is going to fit. It's up to you. Hell, they're your toys. You do whatever you want with them. You play with them. You have fun with them. Uh, I am disappointed. The magazine, uh, the, the, the double clip, the double, the double magazine. I don't want to call it a clip. Somebody yell at me. Um, it's been a long day. Yeah, it's been a long day. Um double magazine so will not yell at me if i call it a clip uh disappointing that it falls right out like it, it will not stay in there so you're definitely going to need some sticky tack uh, everything else i think looks really nice and it gives you a new cobra trooper that you're not going to get even if hasbro was to make something like this you know it's different so it's up to you it is a 40 dollar item i know some people complain about it don't buy it that simple that's how much stuff costs. Um, a lot of people, they don't understand the price of the materials and stuff that are being done right now. So if you don't like it, if you think it's too pricey, then just move along. Nothing to see here. You didn't have to stop, but I'm glad you did. I hope you hit me, give me a like and a subscribe and all that other stuff. I'm wasting too much of your guys' time. I'm going to get out of here. Check this out. There'll be a link below if you are interested in ordering this. <sighs> But anyway, if you're on social medias, a punk with toys on Instagram, you'll find two. Subscribe to them both if you want to. Facebook group page, Punks with Toys, because once you join, you're a punk with toys. And that's about it. But I'm going to get out of here. But I'm going to ask you one last time. You stayed this long. You must have enjoyed something. Or maybe you just hate watch me. I don't know. I can't imagine hate watching someone for 20 minutes. But hey, you do you. And I do apologize for how long it took when I had to stop it. But hey, I want to see, I want you to see where your struggles that you're going to get if you're not used to this. If you're a customizer, you're going to say, hey, that's not how you do it. There's an easier way. But if you're like me, that you don't really customize things, hey, you need to see how it's going to be done. Maybe some of the struggles you're going to, you're going to deal with, but it's not too bad. But anyway, I'm going to get out of here, but take a second on your way out, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification so you're notified every time I drop a video. Now, before you go anywhere, up here is going to be the Vamp Phase 1, uh, the Roll Cage uh, video. And down here is all the other gridiron stuff that I've done. Take care.